<clears throat> well, all right, folks, it is that time of year again. We are gonna plant our annual garden. Let's go get the wife and kids. Let you guys in on how we do, what we do in our garden. <laughs> well, all right. <clears throat> we got the rest of the crew. Hi. Uh, what are we doing? We're about to plant the garden. What we have? Yeah, a rake and a hoe. We got a rake and a hoe. <laughs> what kind of plants do we have, kids? Tomatoes, peppers, All right, so here's what we got. <clears throat> we have got 20 Parks Whopper tomato plants. No. We have got no coin way. sets, no which is a pickling cucumber. Foxy. We've got, uh, I think it was 16 of those. We also have crookneck squash, romaine lettuce. <laughs> Over here we have California Wonder sweet peppers. I guess. More crookneck squash. What we have in here, bud? What's this? Uh, um, that is pepper. Sweet banana pepper, peppers. peppers. And then we have some back in here. We got some jalapenos. Um, over here. And some burpless it cucumbers. It doesn't show it over here. What? It doesn't show nope, doesn't show it over there. And then we've got bodacious sweet corn bodacious sweet corn sweet onions beans these are tenderetta bush beans oh blue lake sorry blue lake bush beans we're a little late on the onions but they'll grow just fine won't they honey i don't know we'll see i guess you ready to plant the garden you look like you're ready to have so much fun Someone is in a bad mood. Are you pointing at yourself? Nope. The camera's pointing at you and the finger's pointing at you and the camera. I don't think so. Smile, babe. It's fun to plant the garden. Yes. No more work after you plant it, right? I planted it all by myself last year. You did. So does that mean we're just, we're going to go drink cold beer while you're planting the garden? Kind of figuring that's what I'll happened. drink orange juice. <laughs> You'll drink orange not juice? Beer. All right, let's get this sucker planted all right we have got our tomato cages placed we like to place the cages first so that we can make sure that we have enough room there's one down there felicia's moving the last one but we make sure we have enough room to till in between on the outside the, the actual cages as you can see we can till between each one of them this way also tilling is a lot quicker and easier than hoeing. Now these, they might get moved around a few inches or so, but this is how they'll be placed. And now we get to plant the tomatoes. What do you guys think? You ready for that? Yeah. What's your, all, what's your all's main job while we're, while we're planting if, if we don't need you right that minute to help plant? Um, Why is the tractor sitting there with the bucket on it? You have to put rocks Mom, in the bucket. The Where do the rocks come from? The garden. The garden. Cause daddy plowed it this year didn't he turned it over eh, we're not so much worried about those but these if you see anything that size or bigger we want to take it out it. and put it in the bucket that was a good shot wasn't it huh is that a good shot all right let's get some tomato plants planted All right, so you guys saw us get all the tomato plants planted there. I said we had 20. We decided to leave two out, which gives us three even rows of six. So that gives us 18 tomato plants. The next thing that we're gonna plant is poinsettes, which as I mentioned earlier, is a pickling cucumber. 
and Felicia loves to make homemade pickles and we love it when Felicia <laughs> makes homemade pickles but these are a vine type of cucumber they uh, they love to grow up and we have a little bit of a trick that we do that ensures the kids can find them and pick them a lot easier right babe yep. all right let's show them what we do so what's our trick honey we just lay a hog panel on the ground leave it flat is that what we do yep. we do a little more than that don't we yep. so what we do is we take a hog panel <clears throat> these are basically 12 foot long four and a half foot tall and we make a trellis out of it so felicia's gonna stand on this end i'll walk over here and while she's standing on that end i'll flex it remember you gotta stand just on the one strand because i'm gonna push it up to you huh that's all you were on this might be hard to do holding the camera you'll hold it won't you go to that end then Yes, sir. Sound like a plan? Thank you. I'm glad you finally figured that out. Mm -hmm. Scare you? A little bit. All right. Now, we got to take it a little bit closer to the tomato cage. Cages. So we need to come my way about six feet. Think we can do that? What do you want me to do? I want you to allow me to drag it, but yet don't let it flop you in the shins. So how does that make sense? Grab a hold of it with your hand, take your feet off of it, push it to me. Hold on, let me grab down here. The camera's pointing over into a man's land. It's how hard about... to do with a camera, isn't it? No. What, baby? Well, I told you not to. Oh. Now, push it back down. Hold on, buddy. Stand on her again. Hold on, buddy. Bring it here. It'll be all right. We'll get it off. All right. Let me You're have about it again. to drag me. About to drag you. Yep. All right. Push it down. And stand on it. All right. Where's that? That's this might true. be the best video you ever had. Yeah, it is. Perfect camera woman over there. Come here, buddy. I'll put some uh, sunscreen on you. We need to go uphill just a little bit. So we got the tiller room at the bottom there. Matt does all the tilling. Hey, I can make it really, really tight to where you run into everything with your hands if that's what you want. Mama, okay. What do you think? You put sunscreen on yourself? I think mommy should check it. Does that get us where we need to be? Let's move it in just a little bit more. It gets a little too wide. Look how romantic he is putting up us a little arch. Huh? We can walk right through that holding mm -hmm. hands. What do you think? Mm -hmm. See, just when you said, you're high never romantic. Well, <laughs> build us an arch just like that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ready to plant some poinsettias? Hey, Reese. We got to stake Easy. it. We gotta stake it. Let me go grab the uh, fence post. Oh. I about fell over there looking at you. Atkins County. No. All right. Post number one. Which not that could flop out. If it does. Yeah, I think there's a rock. Or that's an excuse for being weak. Huh? Are you just being weak? Oh, I'm so weak I broke it. You break a lot of things. That's in there good enough. Hmm. Okay, stake number two. I love it that you're so... Um, your criticism is just so great. I want to go with. Such positive Mommy. criticism. You did, I said you're so strong. Maybe it's because you're so weak. Mommy, can you please video it? Hmm. Reese, you're hot, buddy. Because he looks it. like his dad. Think that's it? Yep. Isn't that right, buddy? No. Oh, stake number two. It's, it's really dry. And there's the trellis. Uh-oh. What? It's crooked. Crotched? Mm -hmm. Reese, mommy says it's crotched. I'll help do this. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Mommy! Oh, buddy. 
I don't think Daddy needs your help right now. I no, I don't want the camera. What do you want? Watch your hand. Why? We'll no. walk through our trellis together. Oh, good Lord. oh, look, that's a trellis just for us. That's pretty much how he got me to marry him, too. Dragged me Daddy. down the aisle. <laughs> Dragged you down the Daddy. aisle. Don't what? <laughs> Dude, you're too all over the place. You make my people go crazy. I want to video it. Watch, wait till you watch mine. Huh? Well, there we go. We got the trellis. Reese, why do we have the trellis? I need to hold it up. To hold it up, but look, up, you stand right there. How many times have you picked pickles from inside that trellis? Because they just hang down on the inside, don't they? What's a pickle feel like? Bumpy. Bumpy and pokey, isn't it? But you still like getting them because you like to eat them. Yeah. Reese's favorite is homemade pickles. This boy right here. Find? Are they hard to find? It's right here. They're only hard to find if mommy and daddy don't build the trellis, right? They're a little hard. All right, you ready to plant some poinsettias? All right, Raylan and Felicia are finishing up the poinsettias down there to trellis. We've got our crooked neck squash, crook neck squash, and our burpless cucumbers right here in this area above the trellis. And then we're going to do a line of peppers here. So let's get this going. All right, we've got our crooked neck squash in, crook neck squash in. We've got our burpless cucumbers, a couple of pepper plants to fill in that bottom section. We have enough gap in between these two rows. We can put another row of onions there. And we have more pepper plants dotted up through there. More pepper plants dotted right through here. A second row of onions with a row of lettuce at the bottom. And these pepper plants don't get real big, but they are going to grow some. So we space it a little bit more than we do our tomato plants, mainly because the tomato plants will be contained by the tomato cage. But I will admit, I always screw up these crook neck squash. For some reason those suckers get crazy crazy on me so i'm hopeful that i've got enough space right here between these pepper plants and those crook neck that we can get in here and teal cross our fingers on that one and then right down here at the bottom these burpless cucumbers they're you know viney as well just like the poinsettias down there so i've got a nice long gap in between them and the crook neck so that they can grow up this hill and we can pick them and hopefully they stay separated from the crook neck. That's uh, a big hope we shall see. So what we have left now is corn and beans. And here at our home, that's south, right at the camera here is north. So I like to plant my rows this way. It just seems to grow better than planting my corn east and west. And I've always been told by old farmers plant your long rows north and south these aren't really that long of rows however I'm still going to keep them north and south and then also you can't just plant one row of corn or it won't produce very big cob if any cob at all they've got to cross pollinate so you want to always plant at least two rows what we're going to do is probably six rows and then two rows of beans out there on that outside edge so let's get some corn and beans and grain Well, I got my last helper for the day. Stop being on me, Dad. Hi, Riley. Riley loves being on video. So Riley is going to rake in the corn rows, and I didn't get six, I got five. Almost said four, but anyway, anyway, you can see the red speckles in there. Riley, show them how you rake it over, sweetie. You remember, too much is a bad thing, not enough is a bad thing. So basically we just want to cover it up just enough to where it holds moisture in there but yet holds heat in there and makes the germination process start so we're not trying to get a whole lot of dirt on top of them but a little bit once we get that covered up we're basically done with the planting process 
we've got to go get some straw. I forgot straw when I went and picked up all the plants, but we're gonna straw all of the tomatoes. Basically, we're gonna straw everything except for the corn and the beans. And I don't know if you guys have ever worked in sweet corn before out of your own gardens or anybody else's, but I highly recommend to leave a couple of rows at least. If you're doing six, leave three unplanted. If you're doing four, leave two unplanted. Uh, give these about a week and a half to two weeks to start because working in corn gets tiring. And basically what this allows is those first three rows will start growing and then we'll plant the second two rows for a total of five. So we'll work in corn for a week, harvesting the first three rows. And then we'll have a couple week break because we're planting them two weeks apart before we got to work in corn again. Because when you are cutting corn off the cob and you're blanching corn and you're stripping all, you're shucking everything, it just, it gets tiring. You're wanting to go do other things other than harvest your corn, but you also want to get the fruits of your labor. So we make time for it, but it does get tiring. It gets old, everybody gets grouchy and nobody really wants to do any more of it. So if you give yourself a two week break, we'll harvest those first three, harvest the last two, and then we only ended up with one row of beans. This, this dirt over here, well, <laughs> let's be real. All this dirt is not the greatest dirt, but it's our dirt. So we utilize it and it does grow things pretty well. We don't want rocks on top of them. I'm kidding, you just uncovered a rock. Why don't you smile? Oh, Riley, everybody wants to see you smile. I'm gonna take this Look, thing. oh my gosh, she's oh, gonna, smiling. Oh no, Riley's smiling, the 13 year old smiling. Anyway, we got only one row of beans here and back to the dirt. This isn't good dirt, but it's our dirt. There's a lot of rocks in it. We've made it better over the years. There used to be uh, the first or second brand new house that was ever built on this property was literally right here. And uh, someone in the family decided to burn it right here. So we've uncovered a lot of pretty cool things over the years, glass included, which isn't all that cool. However, it's our dirt, we're gonna work with it and uh, it grows everything that we need every year, right Riley? Well, as soon as she gets that smug look off her face and gets done raking, we're going to get some straw and show you guys the last part of this process. Yeah. Well, what did we get, buddy? Straw. We got some straw. Is it itchy? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to back with it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so we are going to put the straw on the everything, basically, except for the three rows of corn and the one row of beans. Right. Pick up the rock. Yes, you can pick, yep, but remember, we don't walk across the garden now because everything's planted. You gotta stay above it in this grassy patch. That's a brick. All right, let's put some straw on, buddy. All right, everybody, that is garden planting minus two rows of corn, 2022. Reese and I got everything strawed. Good job, buddy. Thanks for the help. Even though this happened. What'd you do? Cut myself on one of those. Cut yourself on one of the uh, tomato cages? Yeah. So yeah, there's some straw in the tomato cages and there's some straw on the trellis, but the wind will take care of that. And normally the very last part of this process is running the sprinkler to water everything to ensure that this dry ground and doesn't we, dry out the plants. And we get to play in the sprinkler. Sometimes you play in the sprinkler. However, they are calling for rain and it has cooled off significantly. So I am going to make the assumption that it is gonna rain. <clears throat> or not. And we will keep everybody updated as the garden progresses to grow. You got straw everywhere, buddy. I know, I even got it in my... We'll do some uh, hey, shorts or something hey, to Dad. make sure that they understand what? 
how the garden's going. Yep, you better get that plastic out of there. Don't step on the cornrows. It's kind of hard to see now, aren't they? But you can see where everybody else has been stepping, so you can step there. All right, everybody. So that brings this to a close. Look at this. What are we going to tell them? Uh, huh? It brings this video to a close. So what are we going to tell them? Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Like comment and subscribe yeah. and turn on those notifications right buddy all right we're done then right bye all right, see you guys later